Earlier this year, VMware has shipped a desktop hypervisor called App Catalyst. It's a lightweight hypervisor primarily meant for dev and test environments. It comes with a built-in photon operating system image, which contains Docker. Installed at slash opt VMware, App Catalyst is available through a command line interface. Once you have this installed, you can try various commands including app catalyst vm create and this is going to create a new vm from the existing image we can also list the available vms and we are currently running three of them it's also possible for us to retrieve the ip address by typing this command called app catalyst guest get ip followed by the VM name. So once we retrieve the IP address, we can SSH using the insecure key that App Catalyst provides. The username is going to be Photon. And once we have the IP address, we can use that to SSH into the VM. So now we are within the Photon VM and this runs the latest version of Docker. The App Catalyst hypervisor also comes with a REST endpoint which is exposed through Swagger. So we can launch the background daemon with this command, which is app catalyst, app catalyst daemon. And this is listening on uh, port 8080. So we can switch to the browser. And this shows us the Swagger REST endpoint for App Catalyst. Uh, I can list all the VMs by calling the get command on this. So there are three VMs. I can also retrieve the IP address through the REST endpoint. For example, let's get the IP address for VM2. So, okay, let's try it with VM1. Okay, there we go. Looks like I haven't switched on VM2. So this is the IP address. Docker machine driver is going to be available for App Catalyst soon which makes it a perfect test bed for trying out Docker Machine, Docker Compose and Docker Swarm. 